Hey yo, what is going on squad NSG? What it do? Christmas is right around the corner. I hope you guys do have a great holiday and I hope you guys enjoy your time with your family. But what I will be doing is giving you guys another episode of Madden Career Mode. And in this episode, we will go in, we will be covering three games. Two versus the Eagles and one with the Giants. Of course, that Giants game is in between the two Eagles games. But we are playing right now in Washington. And the first play of that possession for the Eagles in the second half is picked off by our man. So you already see it's not a bad, it's a bad start for the Philadelphia Eagles, who are 7-2. and two. But they're not playing like a 7-2 and two team against the Washington Redskins as they are losing 10-0. to zero. And on the third and sixth, though, Philadelphia's Eagle quarterback does connect with his tight end Zach Ertz to make it a 10-7 game. Now late into the fourth quarter, on a first and 10, Eagles find themselves down by six, but a turnover here. Ladies and gentlemen, what more can be said? What more can be said about the season that Dwayne Thompson is having? Of course, leads not only the Washington Redskins, but the whole NFL in interceptions. The Eagles are down by 14 late in the fourth. So basically, I could talk big. This game is already won. A drop pass there on third and goal. So the Philadelphia Eagles, they do decide to go for it on fourth and goal. And they do get the touchdown, but barely. Barely DeMarco Murray reached over the goal line. But it doesn't matter because we do end up winning the game. Look at Chips Kelly's face. He is so heated right now. We do end up winning the game 21-14 to 14 against... The leaders of the NFC East. And the very next week after that, we are going against the New York Giants, who are also in the NFC East, who also we do not like. The New York Giants right now, they are 3-7. and 3-7 and seven this season. This season is not really going too well for them. And you can see why Shane Vereen is hurt. Matt Asio, blah, 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 whatever his name is, is a starting running back for the Giants and he's only a 72 overall and as you go to the wide receivers they do have Odell Beckham Jr. but Victor Cruz cannot seem to stay healthy he is injured so is that why they aren't being as successful this season they do have Zach Miller as their tight end who's a pretty pretty decent of a tight end time Monday night football you see RG3 in his numbers 10 touchdowns this season only two interceptions Eli Manning right now 12 touchdowns and six interceptions and Pierre Garçon stretching out his neck making sure that he is all ready to go for this game there goes Chris Culliver Rodney McLeod partners in the secondary with me so we're gonna start it off in the first quarter. A read option play by Eli Manning on third down. Manning's trying to read this option play. Does he keep the football or pitch it? He keeps the go of converting on third down. Start of the second quarter. Third and six. We find ourselves down by three, but Eli Manning throwing my way. That's an automatic pick. 
trying to get that pick six. We didn't get the pick six there, but we gave our offense great, great field position at the 13 yard line. Eli Manning, you know better than throw my way. I'm the interception leader of the NFL. quarterbacks would know by now. So moving right along into the second half, facing a second and 10, finding ourselves down by four, getting that hit on the New York Giants running back, and that is Matt, the guy who replaced St. Marine after his injury, and he's injured. Third and six. What a huge game by the Giants. A great read by Eli Manning. And later on that drive, a second and goal. That ball gets batted down. But watch this. Watch Odell Beckham Jr. get into the face of Dwayne Thompson. And watch him push Dwayne. These two were talking smack right before the game. And you can see that these two do not like each other. But the Giants do cap it off with the touchdown there from Eli Manning to Bernard to now go up by 11. But later on into the fourth quarter, we do find ourselves up by four. We just have to keep the Giants out of the end zone. But with Rodney McLeod getting mossed out of his asshole, how, and here it is, another another long pass play on second and 18. Rodney McLeod gets mossed out of his asshole again. Second and four, I could have gotten that pick. And if I did, that probably would have been pick six, but I did over pursue the ball. And it's a third and goal. We just have to stop him on a third and goal. said there I got away from my zone and Eli Manning does find his man for the game winning touchdown leading his team all the way down the field to get that game winner which pushes us back from where we want to be obviously we are in the wild card spot second team in the NFC East and that right there kind of hurts What hurts more is the fact that I didn't punch Odell Beckham in the face for trying me like that. But on to the next game. We played the Eagles two times in the span of three weeks. You see that there we are 6-5. and five. Eagles, of course, lead the division. We're trying to catch up to the Eagles. So a win. Who wins? Two wins against the division leaders would be perfect. There goes DeMarco Murray begging. DeMarco Murray is begging Chip Kelly for him to play. Chip Kelly obviously in real life won't let DeMarco Murray play. So DeMarco was begging Chip to play. Second and 16. Philadelphia's Eagle quarterback is out there not knowing what the hell he's doing. Mind you. That the starting quarterback for the Eagles is hurt. So this is their backup quarterback, and he is running out there like a chicken with his head cut off. Second and 10 into the fourth quarter. We jumped all the way into the fourth quarter because this game was very boring. Not really much action. It was just... The Eagles running the ball, trying to run the ball down our throats, but our defense, our run defense was too stout. So they started opening up the passing game. But on the first and 10, while you're trying to open up the passing game, Dwayne Thompson is stopping everything. 
That's three picks in three straight games. He had a pick last time against the Eagles, had a pick against the Giants. Now he has one in this game. So later on into the fourth quarter, the Eagles have to score. They have to score this drive. On a fourth, fourth and ten, that is the Marco Murray just steamrolling through the gap and getting a huge chunk of yards there, which gives him 15 carries for 61 yards in this game. And there goes another passing play that goes for a first down. And on the second and four, just a walk-in touchdown for Darren Sproles as the Eagles tie up the game, making it 10-10. I think I ran a blitz that play, which left the flats wide open, and you cannot leave Darren Sproles wide open. Trying to see if my offense can do something there. And they are moving down the they're moving the ball with ease. And we don't want to we don't want to kick a field goal. We want to score with the touchdown. And which we do. Matt Jones runs it in for a one yard touchdown, giving us a seven point lead. So our offense did their work. Now our defense has to do ours. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Another read option play? that gets stuffed in the backfield, giving us the ball, turnovers on downs. So there it is. This is just what we needed, but looking back to it, I wish, I wish we would've won our game against the Giants. That would've been three straight wins against division rivals. Do you know what that would've done for us in the playoff race? But nonetheless, getting two wins against the number one team in the NFC East, can't be mad at that, but wishing, still wishing we would've he would have won against the Giants. Crazy. But I also want to say I did not think that this series would be doing as well as, as, as well as it is. And I want to thank you guys. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Anyone, if you're a subscriber, if you're not, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope all you guys have a merry, merry Christmas. And I'll catch you guys later. As always, it's your boy, NSG Commentary. I'm out of here. Peace.